Hello, folks. Got old Rusty here, Truck and Duck Express. We're gonna head over here and flag stuff. Find this little job. I think they got something going up to Farmington. We're gonna go over and check it out and see if we can get that job. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We need a little work this morning. But we're going after the rail. Going to farm again. Ready to roll. Got a backup hook on to her. Get her out of here. Got a brand new big gear. 579. Little, little custom main job on it. Ready to break her in. I think I'll put the big 600 horse fair cat engine in it. Just in case we run into a special transport there. But she's ready to roll. Put some miles on this thing, got to do one mile right now, man. Getting about a terrible potato dog. Red Roll.
P5789, 18 speed transmission driving in full extension mode, 8 shift here. Range. And it's pouring the rain as you can see. And we're motoring on down the highway. That was the old man in all around. And that's down Shane Rust. She's doing great. Now, how's that a shame? Now, much as she pressures everybody nags and goes on, she could have a cold or a sneeze or a headache or something. Yeah, you'll be all right. You'll get along with her fine after you get used to her a little bit. Now, I don't know about that now, Rusty. I don't know about that. What she grab so much about? And I said, I don't pay enough attention to Peggy. Peggy there, like she's, she's there supervising the coach or something. I dive down. She's just a visitor. I, I've got a reminder, she just a visitor there at my house. Yeah, you do that, Ralph. Hello, viewers.
a rainy day, people love a rainy day. I've been having all that last week or two, been having terrible time to wake up, stay up a couple of hours, get too sleepy to sit up. Go lay down and take a nap. That's what getting old does for you. Getting older and older. I sure ain't no midlife unless I'm gonna live a terrible long time. But <laughs> I stay up, a, stay up about an hour or two, and I get too sleepy to stay here. I think I'm gonna start getting out of this room and uh, motivating somewhere else. Uh, sitting in this room, and get bored, sleepy. I started working with. Uh, I started that little truck I made with Volvo, that Volvo I made out of a bar of soap. Then I got me some mud, the clay. That Wally we're on, I made out another Volvo, a bigger one. Then the last two, well, yesterday I made two uh, heads and shoulders, whatever they call that, a bust or whatever. So um, I guess it's time for me to go to the funny farm, people. Yeah, that's right, that's right, Rusty. As I heard when they put you in one of them funny farms, they usually give you a box of clay and let you make stuff for uh, Rusty. Now, uh, you know, uh, well, well, you know, I went to visit my uncle there and I, I saw what they do, Rusty. They let you weave baskets and make little stuff sculptures and stuff like that. And, here you are sitting in your own little shack here making sculptures and stuff. Well, you're going downhill, Rusty. You're just going downhill. That's all they are to it, Rusty. Now it'll be all right, Ralph. At least mother-in-law ain't living. But I had a great mother-in-law, people. I would have never complained about her, and I had a great mother-in-law. She worried about me more than the wife did. When I was out on the road driving to work and with stuff, she, she couldn't even sleep. She was up worried about me. I used to take her. She used to work downtown there. I used to take her to work all the time on snowy days and stuff like that. Me and my mother-in-law got along great. Unlike Ralph over there. She didn't try to take over like mine is there, Rusty. We just have to sit down the rows right now. Now, yeah, her rows are the highway right around Rusty. <laughs> Tell her to hit the highway then around. No, it's me going to hit the highway. We should never moved in that big old farmhouse with plenty of room. Well, I got it so cheap from you, Rusty. I couldn't help move in at that great place. Yeah, I saw pictures of it looked awful nice. And I've got tractors out in the yard and all kinds of attachments to go on them. I've been out plowing fields and stuff, doing stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing there, Rusty. Well, I'm going around. That sure is have terrible long, hard time hooking up to some stuff, but I get her hooked up and I go plow, plow the field the other day and let it sit so long it growed up in weeds. I'm that gone, didn't have to plow it again. I think that'd be what you call losing money. What do you think, Rusty? I think so. People, we on MHA Pro Mountain. One The same as SCS, one So we up to date and running great. No bugs, just runs great. Everything looking good. No problem. Real early in the morning here. It's uh, 5 a.m. 5 30. 5 30 a.m. here where I'm at. Been raining for about two days, gloomy and dark, but it's been uh, it's been a good temperature. Asked my granddaughter the other day. I said, I says, what's the temperature outside? How does it feel? She said, it's mild. And I was thinking, good. It's not hot, not cold, just right. But we've been babysitting for the whole 
the whole week. Four grandkids, two dogs. Their mama is back now. She's going to pick them up this morning. Granny can get some rest. That's right, that's right. Had that big box of crushed corn in here for the three-year-old boy to dig in with his backhoe and I'd play with him digging dirt with a backhoe and dozer and all that stuff had it in here for a week probably then he started getting a little messy he went wild he climbed in the box had to get him out and he'd, it was in one of those con container crates you put under the bed there Anyway, he'd get in and he'd get messed and have to get him out or he'd get a cup full and throw it somewhere. So I had to get my son to take it out of here when he wasn't looking. So he comes through the house and he says, Where is my dirt? <laughs> I said, Your Uncle Keith took it out. He said, I want my dirt. Where is my dirt? Every time he sees my son, he says, Where is my dirt? Then he went out walking around the garage and saw his dirt. He said, <laughs> he said, there's my dirt. He worried about what happened to his dirt. I told him, I told him every time, I said, I said, the only reason you lost it because you got me. You wouldn't listen. You started throwing it around making a mess. He said, okay, Papa. <laughs> He's a good one for saying, okay, Papa. Every time he falls down, he says, okay, goes right on just running, or he says, I'm hurt, he's gone. But he usually says, I'm okay, and takes off just getting it. Been fun having him around day and night for a whole week. He won't have, he has everything his way, though, if he comes in my room and he won't sit in my lap to watch a video, a truck video or something. He wants in there right then. I ain't hardly got time to, to back my little chair up enough to get him in my lap before he's climbing up the side holler and help me. But when he's ready to do something, he's ready. Then when he's ready to leave, he's gone. He makes up his own mind about what he wants to do. That's right, that's right. The boy's independent there. He does exactly what he wants to do when he wants to do it. We got one eight-year-old granddaughter. Her school is starting to study Hitler, I think. And she's asked me all kinds of questions about Hitler. Last night she was wanting to see pictures of, of, of concentration camps. And I told her it's pretty bad pictures. I don't know if she wants to see them or not. So she said she did, so I looked up some of them put up pictures of not too gruesome, just pictures of people about starving to death and stuff. And his children. Being eight years old she just didn't understand understand the deal, but 
I guess they'll finish teaching that in the school. My dad had rusty. Got something going on right here, rusty. Quit talking so much, pay attention. Okay, Ralph, okay. They're making stuff out of hot glue, too. Uh, drawing the pattern with the hot glue, and I and my granddaughter's ass. Draw a pattern like on a t shirt and spray, but then spray dye over it and then take the tape away and have a pattern. They've been trying that. So we've been doing all kinds of projects in my little room here. My room's uh, the central control here for this place. Everything happens in here. Yesterday I was sleeping real good, had my big bipout machine on, ugly, looked like a monster going to space, you know, with one of them on. I let her sleeping good. My granddaughter busted through the door and come in the room. I said, what's so important you had to wake me up? Oh, of course your big dog come with her that big up. It's just a pup, but it's huge. It come in it run from my head to my toe, right up and down my body just to get in it, wants to play. I had to knock it off the couch. <laughs> then I said, what's well, so important you had to come in here and wake me up? All she said is phone. I grabbed my phone and started watching video. Got no manners nowadays, no manners at all. And there it was, for a week again. Here we are, folks, rolling into Farmington. That's right, we've made it. Yeah, I got a couple more miles to go. A lot of traffic out there, Ralph. Now, I seen a few smoky bears running around in the big fire truck there beside of us, looking nice. I need to get back over on your old truck and ETS too and try out the map over there and check some of the stuff on it and see how everything's working and film some of it, but I've not been over there in a while. 
not been up in the Oregon much either. I need to get up in there. Some of them logging camps look pretty nice. I've seen in videos. I don't think I even been to one yet. I like the way this speed's got the miles per hour down there on the dashboard where you can switch it over where you can see that real good. I got a tendency to run now. I run a little too fast a lot, gotta be careful. be there in a second, I guess. Trying to see what that little thing says down there on the edge. I think it's just one mile or something. Maybe. Nice looking red car. People think for riding along with us, even though I tell some stories about family and stuff. I ain't got, I ain't got a terrible lot to talk about the game. Everything looks great. Truck runs good. Map works good. Every day when I started, I put a new trailer, I put another trailer pack in it, see if it's gonna crash. That trailer right there going is the one I put in there the last time. Every time I fired up, I had one more trailer pack. Well, let's get this thing parked, and then you can be on your way. Just click that like button. Tell somebody about us. Hit share and subscribe and, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next run. The old truck and Doug Express gonna park this thing. That's right, that's right. We'll catch you next round. Ten for one.